Hi guys, the next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Nitro Page. Nitro Page is a drag and drop website builder. It's completely free and open source. And once we've self-hosted it, it will look like this. You'll be able to add your pages and to modify your pages themselves. And a bit of a warning, I haven't found out how to actually add custom elements into this. But uh, let me show you how to self-host it. We're first going to go into Coolify and in the projects tab, we're going to hit add. Let's call it Nitro page. I'm just going to add tutorial to that. Then select the production default environment, click on add a new resource, and then search for Nitro page. We're going to click on the one with Postgres SQL, select the server where you want to self host it on. And now before we proceed to hit deploy, let's hit edit compost file. This image did not work for me on my server architecture, which is ARM64. And so what I had to do was build my own image because there is no community image that I found that is supporting ARM64. And to do that, it's quite a, it's not that difficult, but um, what you have to do is you have to download the zip here and you have to modify the push.sh command and maybe the build command as well. Let me just open those up. So you don't have to modify the build command, but you do have to modify the push command so that you're pushing to your own repository and not this one. And then you run those two commands so that you push to Docker Hub or any other registry that you want. And uh, you obviously have to do it on a machine that supports the architecture ARM64, which was my case, I guess you don't have to, but the build command needs to be universal so that the it supports both ARM and AMD. So in my case, I have created an image for the a Nitro page for the ARM64 architecture, but it's strictly for this tutorial, I would not advise using it just because I'm never really going to be updating it. And so if your server architecture is also ARM64 and you want to test Nitro page, then you can use this image. So I'm going to replace it with my image right here, which is available on Docker Hub. And as you can see, I'm using the ARM64 architecture. So now I'm going to hit save and I'm going to hit deploy. But if your server architecture is already AMD64, you don't need to do this step and everything's just fine. So go ahead and hit deploy. My Nitro page container has started. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window. And now I'm just going to hit refresh. And actually, I'm going to refresh the entire page. And so here it says degraded unhealthy, but that's just because the original image is still being displayed here. And that's why it thinks the entire service is unhealthy. But that's fine. We can just ignore that. So here we are going to copy our deployed URL and we're going to open it up in a new tab. And don't panic if you see this 404 page not found. We actually have to go to the route slash admin. So we're greeted with this onboarding journey. Just go ahead and create an account. Hit sign up when you're done. And that's it. We have self hosted Nitro page and now you can go ahead and use Nitro page. So the first thing that you will do is create a title for your page which then automatically gets a path and you hit create page and then you can go within that page. So it's, it seems very simple to use and actually the UI is quite nice. But the only thing I have found is I'm not sure how to actually add the elements. These are custom elements that you write with code. So the concept of Nitro page is your developers create these custom blocks. So elements, and then you have a no code interface, which is this right here for your page designers who just use those custom elements. I just haven't found how to connect that custom element piece before actually deploying. So that's going to be it. We have successfully self hosted Nitro page. There is a little hiccup though, which I haven't been able to figure out. So if you are able to help out with that, please do so and add a comment below. So that's it. I will see you in the next video.